Hello guys, welcome to Joy's Kitchen. Today I'm gonna show you how to make my easy peasy beef samosa. This is much healthier and much tastier than shop bought samosas. You can make it anytime, you can freeze it and you can enjoy it anytime you want. So enjoy. Ingredients Lean beef meat. You can use minced chicken, minced lamb or minced pork. Whatever meat you prefer. Three medium sized chopped onion. One potato cubed. One handful of peas. Minced ginger, minced garlic and three cloves of chopped garlic. Coriander powder, red chili powder, garam masala and black pepper powder and two cloves. Cooking oil, salt, this is the filling ingredients. And then one packet of small size wrap. I cut it half moon to make the samosas. If you want, you can use big wrap to make big samosas, but I prefer small. It looks more real samosa. Put oil in your pan. When the oil is hot, put all your meat in the pan. Fry it till it's brown. The meat is half brown, add your chopped onion. Chopped garlic, minced garlic, minced ginger. Add those cubed potatoes. All dry spices. and stir it when the meat is almost done add salt of course you should check how much salt you are adding add those peas and stir it so that's the final look of this beef filling you can eat this filling with anything you can make pasta with it you can eat with rice you can make fried rice you can even eat with any kind of rotis or chapatis or naan bread this is so good on its own So you have to take one sheet of wrap and then you have to use some wet flour as a glue. And as you can see, the way I'm putting the glue to make a samosa cone, you, sh you have to turn one side first and then put more glue in other side to hold it tightly. Make sure you glued it first very nicely. and then turn other side and try to press it properly to make the proper shape of the samosa add your filling inside don't put too much otherwise you can't close the mouth of the samosa make it half full press it inside Press it very nicely. Now add some more glue to close the mouth.
and press it very gently. Don't force too much, otherwise you're gonna end up breaking your samosa. As you can see, I already make some samosas here and they're ready to fry. Put two tablespoons of oil in your pan. We're gonna shallow fry the samosas, we're not gonna deep fry it. That's why this is the healthy option. Fry them in a medium heat. As you can see, they are golden brown in one side. Here you go guys, this is my beef samosas are ready for you. You can make these samosas and put it in the freezer for one month and you can fry it anytime you want if the guest comes or even you want something for your snacks. So this is very healthy option of samosa because as you can see this is shallow fried this is not deep fried so don't forget to like and subscribe my channel and give me more support thank you bye bye